Hello students, in this video we are going to learn how to multiply mixed fractions. So let's get started with the first example. In our first example we have a mixed fraction multiplying with a improper fraction. For multiplying the two fractions first we need to convert this mixed fraction into improper fraction. So that's going to be 2 times 3 plus 1 divided by 3 times 15 upon 14. So 2 times 3 is 6, 6 plus 1 is 7, that's going to be 7 upon 3 times 15 upon 14. Now mixed fraction is converted into improper fraction and we have two improper fractions getting multiplied. So when we multiply fractions, the numerator of one fraction gets multiplied with the numerator of the other fraction and the denominator of one fraction get multiplied with the denominator of the other fraction. So that's going to be 7 times 15 divided by 3 times 14. Before multiplying the two numbers and writing the answer, first we check whether this whole thing can be simplified or not. For that we check any common factor in between the numerator and denominator. So we see that there is a common factor of 7 in between numerator and denominator. This is going to be simplified. 7 times 1 is 7 and 7 times 2 is 14. Another common factor is 3. 3 times 1 is 3 and 3 times 5 is 15. Now we have 1 times 5 in our numerator and 1 times 2 in our denominator. So 1 times 5 is 5 and 1 times 2 is 2. This is going to be our final answer. This is how we multiply and simplify mixed fraction. Let's move on to our second example. In our second example we have a mixed fraction 3 1 by 4 times a whole number which is 5. So here too we are going to start by converting this mixed number or mixed fraction into improper fraction. That's going to be 3 times 4 plus 1 divided by 4. And this whole number 5 can be written as 5 upon 1 in fraction. As we are multiplying with a fraction we are going to write this whole number as a fraction so that we are not going to get confused where to write 5 whether it's a numerator or a denominator. So 5 is a whole number 5 will be in the numerator and the denominator will be 1. 3 times 4 is 12 12 plus 1 is 13 so that's going to be 13 divided by 4 times 5 divided by 1. Here we have two improper fractions. So numerator of one fraction gets multiplied with the numerator of the other fraction and the denominator of one fraction gets multiplied with the denominator of the other fraction. So 13 times 5 divided by 4 times 1. Now before multiplying the two numbers again we are going to check whether there is a common factor in between the numerator and the denominator. So here we see there is no common factor in between the numerator and denominator. So we can directly multiply the two numbers. 13 times 5 is 65 and 4 times 1 is 4. So our final answer is 65 divided by 4. We can even convert this 5 upon 4 into mixed fraction by dividing it by 4. 4 times 1 is 4. 2 is remainder. Then we'll drop down 5. That's become 25. 4 times 6 is 24 and 1 is remainder. So our mixed fraction which is equivalent to 65 upon 4 will be 16 1 upon 4. This is going to be our final answer. We are going to box the answer and we'll move on to our next example where we multiply two mixed fractions together. So our third example is 1 3 by 7 times 3 5 upon 2. Here too our first step will be to convert these mixed fractions or numbers into improper fractions. So this is going to be 7 times 1 plus 3 divided by 7 times 3 times 2 plus 5 divided by 2. 7 times 1 is 7. 7 plus 3 is 10. So that's going to be 10 upon 7 times. 3 times 2 is 6. 6 plus 5 is 11. That's 11 upon 2. Now we have 2 improper fractions so we are going to multiply the two numerators together and two denominators together so this is going to be 10 times 11 divided by 7 times 2 now before multiplying the two numbers we are going to check whether there is a common factor in, in between the numerator and denominator or not so here we see that there is a common factor of 2 in between the numerator and denominator 2 times 1 is 2 and 2 times 5 is 10. 
So we are going to simplify the fraction before multiplying. Now our numerator is 5 times 11 and denominator is 7 times 1 which is equal to 55 upon 7. We can even write our answer in mixed fraction by dividing 55 by 7. 7 times 7 is 49 and 15 minus 9 is 6. So our mixed fraction will be 7, 6 upon 7. So our final answer is 55 upon 7 in improper fraction or 7, 6 upon 7 as a mixed number. So this is how we multiply mixed fractions. Before going, let's take a recap of the method. For multiplying mixed fraction, we first convert mixed fraction into improper fraction. For multiplying fractions, we multiply the numerator of one fraction with the numerator of the other and the denominator of one fraction with the denominator of the other fraction. Now before multiplying and writing the number or answer, we first check whether there is a common factor in between the numerator and denominator. If there is a common factor, we simplify the fraction and write the product and, and write the final answer. So this is how we multiply mixed fractions. I hope this video is helpful to you. If you like the video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more math videos. Thanks for watching.